Welcome to SAT 3310. This is scripting for administration and automation. Uh, we're going to be talking about bash and working with files today. So when we're talking about um, working with files in bash, uh, again, I just really want to reiterate this idea of using a script template. Make sure that uh, you've got a, a comment block at the top. Make sure you've got plenty of comments throughout your script. Uh, I would use a template that includes things like um, variables, listing, uh, opening files, um, all the major sections of your script. Uh, here you see I also have uh, an opening comment block. I start out with the shebang, tells me where my bash uh, GNU program lives. I've also got general information about the script. I recall from your Linux uh, discussion there are some special characters or meta characters from Bash. Uh, tilde being your home drive, uh, the, the pound or hash symbol being the beginning of a comment, a dollar sign or string uh, indicates a new variable, the uh, Ampersand would put something in the background in Bash. Uh, splat or star is a wildcard, and the question mark is a single wildcard. Additional special characters in Bash, you've got the vertical pipe for uh, piping the output of one command into another command. The square brackets are your sets of wildcards. So in this example, I've got a set A, B, C, so it could be A or B or C. Uh, the curly brace is a command block. So you can use this, and we'll, we'll discuss this later in your uh, control structures, you can have a test and then a command block that would execute if that test is successful. Uh, the semicolon will separate out your commands. The single quote is a strong quote in, in Bash. This is means that things within that single quote will be literals. And the double quote in Bash is your weak quote, meaning uh, the double quote can handle some special characters. So for example, let's talk about uh, echoing information to the screen in Bash. With with this idea with echo, you could say just echo hello world, or we could say uh, echo strong quote hello world, and it will echo exactly what we see uh, on the screen. If you use echo dash e for the escaped characters or extended character set, uh, you can use your special characters like new line and tab. So you'd say echo e uh, soft quote hello world, and then new line character. So just be aware of the difference between your, your strong literal quotes and your soft quotes. Another way of doing it is using print formatted. Again, print formatted in this example, we're saying a soft quote and then our new line character. So it's just, a, I think, a more scripty way of, of doing the echo dash E. Uh, I also have a print F hello percent string and then I provide the string with the name variable. So those are, are alternatives for for the echo uh, which you might want to consider using the print f or print formatted. With bash reading variables you can read and you can just say maybe like read variable one variable two. Uh, in this example I'm echoing to the screen what is your name and you see I don't put a new line on there so it the next line read the name variable would the prompt would actually still be on the first line directly after um, the question mark and then the space. So this is a, a way of, of putting input into your scripts. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about um, data filtering and also uh, IO redirection. So recall from Linux uh, some basic bash uh, filtering commands. 
uh, cat for concatenating, uh, grepping for using your regular expressions for looking within files, uh, sorting for uh, sorting either numerically or alphabetically files, cutting for cutting different columns out of files, and your uh, TR for translate where you can translate just a character in a stream. Also recall from your basic uh, bash IO redirection, your standard in, standard out, standard error, your 0, 1, and 2, and you have the less than sign for your standard in, a greater than sign for standard out, and, and double greater than sign for appending standard out. Uh, you also have your pipe where you can redirect the output of one command directly into the input of another command. So, some basic uh, redirection that you could use in your bash script. You could say cat and input from standard in a file name, uh, so file one. Uh, you could do things like cat input from file one and then redirect the standard output into a different file, file two. With grepping, you're looking for uh, regular expressions uh, within files. So in this example, we're saying grep root Etsy password file. So what it'll do is it'll look for that word root in that file, Etsy password. With sort, uh, a couple really handy things to keep in mind with sort are the reverse sort and the unique. Uh, dash U on sort is uh, extremely helpful. Th what this will do is uh, only print out words or lines that are unique to the file. And you can also, uh, there's options that you can tell sort that will can do things like count the number. Um, so sort is a very powerful data filtering uh, tool in bash that you can can make extensive use of in your scripts. There's also the TR or translate. Uh, so for example here I'm saying translate all the E's into threes or you can do things like I'm going to translate all the lowercase a through z to all uppercase a through z. Again, TR is a very powerful data filter that you can use in your bash scripts. Cut is, again, one of my favorite data filters. Uh, cut allows you to set a delimiter and then use the different data with between the delimiters as fields. So in this example, I'm saying I want to cut with a delimiter of the colon and I want to use just field one, and I'm going to do that operation from my standard input. Um, I'm going to be looking at the file Etsy password. So what that's going to do is take the Etsy password file, cut it up into fields, breaking it at the, the colon in the Etsy password, and then only taking field one, which would be effectively the user ID. I'm then piping it to sort. So what this one command will do is show me an alphabetical list of all the users on the system that are defined in Etsy password. Uh, 